everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we are back in VR craft, but this time things might look a little bit different because I updated my game and you're probably wondering why. Basically, I didn't really like the mod pack that I started off with, so I updated my game so that we could have more mods. The unfortunate thing about that though is because I updated my game, that means everything that we did in the first episode is kind of gone. So we have to start over. But basically, for today's video, I'm going to be building myself a brand new house. I'm allowing myself to build whatever I want in creative, but if I want to decorate, then I have to earn that stuff in survival. Also, to make this series more fun, I really want to include you guys. So after I finish making my house, I want to create like a giant subscriber community. So let me know in the comments what you want me to build for you and I can include it in my videos. Okay, so now that I have explained all of that, I hope you guys are excited and let's get into the video. All right guys, so this is our new world and you know what's pretty cool? We literally spawned in right next to a desert temple. So I'm gonna explore that in a minute. I just wanted to show you guys the mods that we have now. So besides all of the basic stuff that Minecraft already comes with, we have Mr. Crayfish's furniture mod, cooking for blockheads, extra utilities, molasses doors, bibliocraft, biomes so plenty. Of course we have deco craft because it's literally the best mod for decorating ever. And then we have flat colored blocks and storage drawers. So I think we definitely have a lot more to play with now. I hope you guys are excited for all this fun stuff, but now let's go explore the temple. Oh, wait a minute. I forgot that I don't have any tools anymore. Wait, 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 wait. I need to go punch a tree real quick. Hello, little bunny. Why are you running from me? Don't run, I'm your friend. Why? Okay, bye. <laughs> Will you break? Break the wood. Thank you. Ooh, look how wiggly these trees are. I'm using a different shader too, so everything's like... <laughs> I need to make a pickaxe. Thank you. Thank you. Why do you run? Why do you run? Why are you running? Look at my pickaxe. It's so cool. Okay, now let's go inside the temple. This is so cool. Okay, let's go over here and dig down. Let's break that pressure plate. Aha! And now we have loot. Okay, so what's in this one? We have some rotten flesh, spider eyes, gunpowder, string, bones, and sand. That's kind of lame, but I'll take it. Okay, now in this one we have oh, diamond horse armor and gold horse armor and then more of the same boring stuff. Then we have, ah, oh, more boring stuff, but what's this? A blue ruin? I don't know what that's for, but I will take it. And then in this one, ooh, what's this? An enchantment book for flame. Okay, so I think we found some pretty cool stuff. I wanna grab some of these cactuses while I'm over here. Give me the cactus. Yay! Ooh, there's some sheepy babies over here. Hello, I love you. <laughs> okay, before I get too distracted, I'm gonna hop into creative mode and I'm gonna find a new place to live. Okay, so let's go fly over in this direction because we need to find like a large area of land so that we have enough space to build a bunch of houses and stuff. <gasps> oh my god, I found a village! No way! Oh my gosh, hey, what's up? Dude, this is so cool! Do they have a blacksmith? Do they have one? Do they have one? Oh, hello! Bye. <laughs> wow, no loot for me, I see how it is. Okay then, our search for land continues. <gasps> a ravine, no way, oh, oh, oh my god. Oh, that feels so terrifying. I did not mean to fall. What is this? What is happening? This part of the world is glitched. Can I go through here? <gasps> I can, this is so weird, can I break this? Oh, I fixed it. Oh my gosh, another village! Wait a minute. Does this village have a blacksmith though? Not that way. Let's go this way. What is with these villages not having blacksmiths? Are you kidding me? This is a third village that I found in like five minutes. Excuse me. Villagers, do you have a blacksmith? No? 
Really? The, the, what? What? I'm so confused. Why not? How is there another village? What is happening? Is there a blacksmith? No. What is happening in this game right now? Did I just choose the world? Wait, what is this? Is this another temple inside of a vi- What? Wait a minute. <gasps> no way. Wait, that is so cool. There's literally a temple spawned in the middle of this village. Well, we have to go inside of it now, so let's go. <laughs> okay, we're back in survival. Let's select my pickaxe. And let's go see what's in these chests. What's in here? Nothing good, of course. Okay, what's in this one? Ooh, iron, I'll take that. Ooh, emeralds. And there's a purple rune in here. I really need to figure out what these are for because I have no idea. Wait, there's a golden apple in this one? Did I forget to look at this? That's cool, I'll take that. Okay, well, there was no blacksmith in this village, but at least there was some loot in that temple. And while I'm still in survival, I'm just gonna grab some of these corrupts. Give me my carrots. Ooh, potatoes. I'm gonna have to figure out where I'm living soon because I literally have like no more inventory space. No way, is this another village? Dude, guys, what is happening? What is, oh my God, a blacksmith, finally. Is there anything good? Ooh, obsidian, some iron leggings and boots and apples and bread. Well, that was cool. And it looks like there's some flat land over here. Oh no, it turned into, what is that? What is that? That's a pirate ship. Wait a minute, I must explore it. Wait a minute, maybe there's like pirates and stuff on this. Maybe I should wait until I'm in survival. I will come back. That is so cool though. We should definitely live somewhere around here though because like there's a pirate ship, there's villages literally everywhere. I think I just found the perfect place to live. Guys, look, there is a roofed forest biome right over there, which is one of my favorites because I love the mushrooms. Then there's like all of this like flat land that we could build on. Let me fly around and show you guys real quick. Look at all of this land that we could build houses and stuff on. And look, there's even a ravine. Look how cool that is, that is perfect. I am literally so obsessed with this area. It is just so cute. I love this area, that's beautiful. But I think I'm gonna put my house over by the roofed forest biome. All right guys, so here is the layout of my house so far. I really don't know what this is gonna end up looking like, but um, I want it to be pink, white, blue, and purple. So those are the colors I'm gonna be using. I added two spots for towers on either side of the main entrance. So I guess my house is gonna be kind of castle inspired, but I definitely don't want it to be like a giant castle. I just want it to look cute. Also building a virtual reality is like insanely time consuming. And I think that's probably just because I'm not used to these controls yet but uh, to make things a little bit easier for myself I'm gonna be using the creative builders wand for the rest of my house this makes everything so much easier now let's build this wall up and now we can go back here and there we go <gasps> the first layer of my house is done it is very white right now I know we'll be adding color later Okay, so all the walls are done now, but I kind of feel like it's lame that everything is the same level. So I'm going to go ahead and make the towers that are on either side a bit taller. I also need to figure out what I'm going to do with the roof situation. And I thought it would be kind of cute if I did some kind of little balcony over the front entrance. So I'm going to go work on all that stuff real quick and then I'll show you to you guys when I'm done. All right guys, well it has definitely been longer than an hour, but I think I finally like the way my house looks. So are you ready to see it? In three, two, one, here's my house. <laughs> Doesn't this look so cute? For some reason, it kind of reminds me of a Polly Pocket house, but that's cool because I like Polly Pockets. But if we go over here, you can see we have a cute little balcony and we have all these really pretty windows. If I fly up real quick, you guys can actually see how big my house is. I didn't want to make it massive, but I feel like this is a pretty decent size. 
obviously at my house I have a diamond block walkway um, but now if we go inside this is what it looks like so it's not done yet I still have to add some more floors and windows but this is basically what it looks like in here upstairs I put a really cool star in the wall and this is where I want to put my bedroom I just feel like a bed under the star would be so pretty for the upstairs flooring I decided to use this snowy brick block I have no idea if it's gonna melt if I switch into survival, so um, I guess we'll find out eventually, but I just thought this was so pretty. Alright, so let's go ahead and finish my upstairs flooring real quick. Okay, there we go. I think that's even, right? Yeah, that looks good. Now I just want to add a fence going all around this opening so that I don't fall off. All right, and now that that's done, I can finish adding the doorways and the windows. So let's go over here since we're already upstairs and I wanna mirror this opening. So I need to stand right here and break this. Then we can put some windows in here because it is super dark. Now we can just fill in the floor. Okay, now I feel like these two sides need some more windows, so let's go over here. So break, 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 place, 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 place. Okay, so I think everything is pretty much done with like the base build of my house so far, but I did want to go ahead and add some of these little slabs above these entrances just so that like they're not so boring looking. Oh, wait, nope, I totally forgot. We need more windows downstairs. So what if we had two big windows like this on either side. Aw, I actually like this, it looks pretty cool. But again, it is still dark, so hold on. Let me get a torch. And for now, we're just gonna randomly stick them on the wall because it's just way too dark in here. Okay, I think my house is finally done. So let's go ahead inside just to do a little tour. Also, wait, 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 wait. Look how cool these curtains are, are you ready? Oh, and then you just walk through and then you could close them. Is that not sick? This is so cool! But anyway, as you walk into my house, you see the stairs that go right up there. Then on either side of this main floor, we have two rooms like this. If you walk around the back side of the stairs, I'm pretty sure this is probably gonna be where I put like a kitchen and a living room. Then when you go upstairs, this is definitely gonna be the spot for my bedroom just because this little star window is so cute. There's kind of a lot of extra space along the sides up here that I don't really know what I'm gonna use for yet, but we could figure that out later. Um, and then as you come down this way, we have a room over here. There's another one exactly the same over on that side and then over here we just have the balcony all right guys well that's gonna be it for today's episode if you liked it make sure to give this video a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you're new also don't forget to let me know in the comments what kind of building you want me to make for you and yeah i'll see you guys next time bye